Welcome back to another video and um, so this is going to be a very uh, weird start. As you can see, I, I showered but I didn't shower, I just had like a bath and I actually can't take a shower. I'm waiting because he said he changed the water beads from 7pm to 11pm and only he's up two times in a day. And they, I've never seen a place like this. Controls everything from this phone and everything and, and see who's going in and out of the door and everything. Like oh, It's so cringe. We barely use any water this time, way less than last time. And it's like he's monitoring on his phone how much water is ha like going through because it's now no longer hot at all after using barely any. Before we ended up apparently using a bit more than a bathtub and did a few other things down below as well. But this time, and it's right after 7 p.m. as well and it's still not hot at all. It just went randomly cold after that. It was hot water. I shut it off and now it's just after some time trying to try to turn it back on again. It's cold now and we're thinking he could be literally trying to mess with us just to like piss us off so that we get off his place and he has an excuse essentially now to like rate us lower because I saw, I did a call with him earlier and he was not happy at all, not, not at all. I was wearing my sunglasses and looks like he's not happy because his dog was ignoring him and it's like he wanted a video call. It looks like his dog was liking her more than him and he does not like her from what I saw, uh, Gene, this guy here, and really does not like her at all. We ended up just like finishing the call and he's just like yeah I, I was i was not i saw the way he looked he's like not happy in general because like he was looking at his dog he's like oh it's been running a while and i was like yeah and he's pretty tired i was rubbing him in a bit there and he's just like because uh. the whole reason that started was because he's like oh you how was the walk this morning and i replied to him here a bit after and I said, oh, the walk was great. We're still in the park right now. And he's like, oh, I got nothing better to do. Uh, go ahead and uh, give me a video call. I want to see him. And again, another video call. This guy's crazy. I never had this happen. And then you go ahead and do that. Because he's trying to like, catch us off guard, see if I'm lying. I'm like, oh, sure, one minute. He's probably like, hmm. And then I go ahead and call. And then he is like shocked. Like, oh, we're actually in the park. And his dog's actually tired and panting a lot. And like... He just looks like he's really hating us because we're actually not giving him an excuse to do anything here. And it's absurd because, again, we kind of wait and try to see about getting hot water. And I just don't know how to properly do this. It's like, we literally can't even take a shower every few days in this place because literally it's turning off the hot water on us so it's colder. I know I didn't explain all that the best probably, but I'm just like kind of in shock at like how bad this place is. and. That's uh, rough. Anyways, as you can see, I'm like down here on the stairs recording part sure right now. So it's just been crazy, but I have some good news. Apparently, um, I woke up with some bad news in different ways. She explained it wrong, but so I got to pay the parking ticket. Everything's cleared on that, and hopefully not my mail got sent to Samantha's place. But it looks like DHS, like Trust House Centers, ended up replying to what we sent, and it's sooner than expected. And it looks like they're actually going to end up taking some action like they already did. They said they've already suspended her account, so she can't use this place anymore. And we started realizing that some people's places, maybe uh, two out of ten houses we're looking at, it looks like they're suspended or just gone. And we're looking and trying to click through people's reviews and go to their the house that people stayed at on the website, and like you can't even access it anymore. And we're starting to realize, wait, maybe these people have violated the terms that actually got banned. I guess telling her. Based on all the evidence we have and the review she wrote about us and saying we were complaining about their dog scratching us and making us bleed. Yeah, she wrote a review like that, <laughs> like calling herself out, thinking she's okay, got mental issues apparently. If this doesn't get her taken off the website, maybe almost nothing can except being ripped into by teeth from the dog or something. Uh, it's all that off evidence of recording us and all that and she's been exposing herself recording in her own home as well, like, like, like viewing with the camera at least. Yeah, it's nice to see that she is taken down right now, and they said they will go through this case, they're reaching out to her, and they are going to look at the review after all this. Finally, something's happening, and they've had someone call two times a day, like she said, could be someone from Samantha's family, being really crazy, one of her family members, because we saw her family was really violent and crazy. And uh, normally all these people who are like, more in poor areas always are like that. She messaged and said, hey, I don't know, uh, wh wh you called two times, wh wh what is it you want, essentially, who is this? And uh, they called again, ignoring, like shortly after that. And then she replied, um, in text message, I'm, I'm not going to answer 
it's for safety reasons. Uh, don't know who this is who I'm talking to. I don't know if they're calling again after that, but that was earlier today. Good news is we're doing really excellent, like phenomenal with uh, the website. And I think we can start really getting something done really soon here. And I have a lot of faith in this and I think things are gonna go really well soon. With all the work we're putting in, being smart and really careful, I think we can truly make our lives change for the better finally because it's so toxic in this place as well. I took another picture, wait, the, his dog did the her big scratch all over her leg, ripping until I like, almost bleeding. And especially him saying chat messages that, uh, oh, he, he didn't mean to do any of that. Like this stuff can also, I can probably like, get this, you know, same thing like Samantha. I can probably, yeah, I just try to be careful. I don't know if there's like monitoring or, like it, it's horrible like there's a doorbell in front i think i don't know if you can even monitor or hear crap and it just drives you crazy you can barely speak about anything it feels like really he's trying to kick us out of his house and wants to have an excuse and it's just miserable because like we're here working for free for you and uh, well, essentially free like you normally would have to pay people for a lot for this and it's like that's how we're being treated by these people it's horrible. There's no respect at all for people helping you. And I'm so happy that something's being done. I hope she gets banned. Hey, if not, at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do, but I've, we've done everything we can for this. So it's all we can do for now. And I'm just gonna try to get the hot water on again somehow. Um, by maybe finding our control throughout the house. I don't know, because this is just ridiculous and unacceptable. While we're trying to work through this, make money. We have like people attacking us more than I've ever seen before almost in this country. It's weird. I feel like this is always happening every time we start working on our lives, our business, uh, editing vlogs, all that. I started getting attacked so much more and I just don't know why. You can clearly see these places attacking us more, causing more issues, right? It's crazy. I'm shocked with how bad these people can be in the United Kingdom. Great Britain is really a name I don't even like to speak anymore because like seeing royalty and how bad those people have been as well. And just the dark secrets of all these people. And just how stuck up all these people and what they do, their own family, and just people are so toxic everywhere and everything they do. Just calling it Britain sounds better. I don't like saying Great Britain. It sounds like, why? Why are they greater than the rest of the world? <laughs> what is freaking greater here, bro? It's just Britain, as far as I'm concerned. It's raining today. I got a lot. He's expecting us to go out in a raincoat and go walk his dog and do everything in the heavy rain. Not even Samantha was expecting that out of us. And I'm not, I didn't go out and, and walk his dog today because I did no, I did earlier before it started raining. And um, I'm not doing that now to go play ball with him out in the rain, getting horribly wet, spending my time doing that. I, we almost passed out on a walk earlier because we're feeling so bad from the food we ate here. Brussels sprouts, some corn, different things. And I felt like any of this food we're eating, we feel so horrible. Like we're going to pass out, we're not good in our stomachs, like food poisoning some. And I don't understand how. I don't know why, but I didn't even have these issues in Brazil. To this extent, truly. I think his, his dog is trying to like smile underneath the door. Got the door locked, because if not, he'll come up here and break our MacBook. He'll rip through our stuff in our room and everything. Had to have it locked. And he's wanting that open as well, most of the time, to come up here and like, you know, freaking stuff back like the first place we were at, to go freak our, uh, the, the way those dogs freaked our uh, laptop up and to replace that I showed you. These people are so selfish, they don't care. And the insurance here does not cover our stuff. We don't have any insurance just for their stuff and if like someone third party somewhere like a stranger gets hurt while walking a dog i think that's all insurance covers even though we're paying for premium and it's absurd it truly is so yeah hopefully we get out of britain very soon and how much you charge for things here is absurd because it sucks it sucks hundred dollars a day for a small ass hotel room it's worthless like this place sucks dude I had a horrible experience in London, never even been there yet, as you know. There's food poisoning here, there's food poisoning in Brazil, there's food poisoning freaking everywhere, apparently. No one's damn careful enough. If you want to avoid it, it looks like you got to grow your own vegetables, raise your own food, get your own meat from growing, raising animals yourself. Like, that's it for now, before I, I already make complete vlog 56 again. Like, wish us luck, and uh, let's see how things go here. So, we, uh, I don't remember what I recorded last, actually, but we've set down a serious thought about everything. We are gonna change the way we're doing things. We're gonna start ordering products and see what we can do with this. Actually making some money, finally. And I may even record some of the, what, what we're doing, and more so just kind of put it on YouTube, because I, I'm not gonna be going out, and it's what I'm doing in my life and I'm recording my life. So my memory has been very strange. I think yours too in the UK here mm -hmm. from the food. And 
we actually just ate peanut butter and chips yesterday and felt better walking out felt healthy today so anytime we're eating vegetables especially meat any of that i think meat and vegetables both have a huge issue here it's like making us feel like we're poisoned and lethargic and horrible is having a heart attack eggs and pollen any yeah yeah like, like that as well but i feel like it's worse here almost in some way for that but it's it's all extremely horrible here i may have to almost live on peanut butter but we're trying to make money as crazy as it sounds we're gonna try our best no matter what and do what we can with the time here we got done walking barney and all that of course so i can't really show the package exactly because it like show my data but from yeah, united states priority i got like uh, this piece of mail piece of my big here and forty two dollars seventy five cents to ship this year wonderful yes sim card <laughs> two sim cards we finally got two actual american sim cards because before we got an american sim card in poland that we bought online from amazon and it has it was an american number but it's registering like it gives you zloty polish zloty like literally and <laughs> I was so pissed off. So this is from actual an actual American store in an actual American country known as the United States. And this will now show us US dollars when we're doing stuff. And it's also gonna show companies that were from America. So we got an American registered phone, like the Xiaomi apparently is registered from there. And we got some cards gonna pop in, so no one's ever gonna know the difference. It's gonna be beautiful for doing everything we need to do. So I'm going to take you along with me on this and start giving you a different type of updates probably. I don't know how I was going to do posting on the vlogging channel, but I'm not just going to make a channel separate for everything because that's ridiculous. Let's go ahead and go forth with that. I'm going to open this in one second. Okay, so I opened the big package and there's a small package. That's normally how these things work. And inside here should be the SIM card. I'd be surprised if it's something else considering I guess I'm the same SIM card, so... Okay, here we go. Let's see. Does it look like... Okay. And... Um... Well, that's, that's about how it is. SIM card... Let me see if I show properly. SIM cards, Verizon SIM cards. So, um, it's really bright with the light, but... Yeah, just two of these. There we go. And show them. So, same thing. And this uh, this is going to change our lives probably and help in a lot of ways. Like she said, we're not going to use the Xiaomi because it's Chinese and companies, no. They don't like it. So, a little secret for you. You need to use iPhone or Android from what we know. Uh, just yeah, those Samsung. Brands. Uh, yeah, Samsung. Sorry. <laughs> iPhone or Samsung has to be one of those two, not just Android. Because Xiaomi is an Android. So... Uh, if you're ever doing this, it's important. And there's several secrets on here that take you a lot of time to understand and figure out. I might do a tutorial on all this when I'm all done to help people out, potentially. Hope we don't crash the market with that. However, um, as it stands right now, we're still in the process of fully figuring everything out. Last final details to finally start making money so that we don't go on the street. Because, you know, that's not ideal. I guess it's about it for now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to mention. We're just going to test everything out and try to get things going. Today is the day I'm going to create my channel and start posting my first video. I'm going to post every day because I'm going to have like two months of content posting every day just so I get this all up now. And then I'll probably post every few days after that. Uh, and that's about it. So um, it still takes like a long time doing this. It's crazy like, how much I have. I have to edit another 30 videos too. Actually 35 or so. Yeah, in two months, uh, maybe things will be very different. Maybe they won't. We'll see. So, that's about all for now. And anything else you, you want to say? At the least, we have a car. Yeah, we have a car. Because I kicked their ass to get a car. <laughs> Finally, I worked so hard for that. It's nice to have. I was thinking about selling the car to try to pay for this guy in the course. And I just... Because we have like a thousand left, maybe, for like everything. For food, gas, living, spying, anything. And... It's rough. We're going to have to figure out some other way to do this because the uh, guy won't work with us unless we have the amount we need. So, nothing we can do. Um, I guess that's about it for now then. And we'll give you an update on how things are going in the near future here. I probably I don't know if I'll post two videos in a day sometimes because, like, I mean, there's so many. I'm going to, like, actually start showing you anything we're doing with, like, drop shipping and stuff. So, yeah, I can put one in the morning, one in the evening. Yeah, I don't know. It really depends because it's like a lot of content in general and I got to edit this stuff still. So we'll just see and go from there. But 
Finally, I waited months to get this. This is so fundamentally important. I can't explain how, how important this is. So, that is it for now. Thank you so much uh, for being here with us up to this point. If you are all watching, if we haven't gotten too many angry people up to this point, but uh, we'll see. Like I said, I'm probably cutting out some stuff I probably shouldn't say on YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll see you uh, in a little bit. Okay, so I just went through all the work. Uh, didn't tell me about like verifying my account. I was, I was supposed to before, but then it didn't show me anywhere I went. I couldn't find it. And up uploading video, finding out this lost internet in the UK. Oh, so horrible here. Anyways, I got it uploaded, and all oh, there's a problem with uh, processing, so they wouldn't process it. And uh, apparently, I looked through and was like, "Yep, you're gonna have to re-upload your video." And they give you the option to delete it. Why? Just delete it for me, basically, <laughs> because I got a verify, which I did with the phone number. Now I, I could, couldn't find that before. I don't know why. And uh, now I can go ahead and upload. So I just uploaded it. I should have probably showed publishing my first video, but yee, I uploaded uh my first one look at that so um yeah i guess now i uh, i don't know why i haven't been saying my name before but yeah there's my my name if you're wondering oh can i see that oh can you see even is it showing i hope so i don't know if that's showing or not but i'm sure you're seeing the channel um long ago that's cool um, it's so weird, I'm like just now uploading my first video, I'm on vlog number 56. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, that's uh, that is crazy, let me see, okay, click my link, and I can now go and 1080p, 60, it doesn't show 240 forever, I wonder why. Uh, what videos are they recommending? What are they recommending over here? Why you shouldn't socialize your puppy? Verges and yeah, what? Living alone vlog. Okay, oh, there's a bunch of like I look at that. I might actually like have some some recommendations here. Like maybe uh, sports. Why is there sports here? Randomly. Anyways, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully I don't know if you can see that now. Maybe it's uh, I think it's a cool name. Interesting. So, I'm not exactly sure how. And, there we go. My vlog is posted. Is it like... Oh, it wasn't 1080p. Now it's 1080p. Ayy! Ayy! So, I'm... Ayy, it's posted. Um, um... <laughs> it shouldn't be too difficult. It's not, like, fine. That's great. It's wonderful. Wow, finally. I'm on, oh, I'm online. <laughs> I've never actually put myself, like, online before. So, this is going to be cool, interesting, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess let's see where this goes. Uh, at the very least, it's a cool experience, and, uh, you know, I can just kind of see where things go. But really, I hope to have like you know some followers like like a hundred thousand followers would be great like that'd be phenomenal yeah we'll see how things go might post a video and then like upload that in five years might do that i'll think about that tomorrow sometime here towards the start so yeah i really have no idea what to exactly do with like trying to like get people to see and stuff like actually have some type of, uh, I don't know, like, tags are important. I've heard all kinds of different things. I really don't know exactly. I guess I'll see if I get any viewers or not. If YouTube decides to recommend me or not. So I'll uh, find out. I'll probably be posting every day here for a month or two. If I'm able to. I guess I'm gonna find out. <laughs> oh, whoa, what's up? Okay. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Um, oh, this is crazy. Okay, so we're getting... Start on stuff pretty good. I'm just out for a walk right now, real quick, with Barney and everything. And she's off working on more things. It's gotten our vlog edited fully there, and all that good stuff. So, come on, Barney, let's go. So things are going all right here, going great, relatively, I would say. Yeah, here's the park we're in right now. I'm gonna take him out for a walk here. Barney, come on. Barney, come on, sit, sit. Bunny, sit. Alright, here we go. 
Yeah, take your leash off. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. So, here, Bunny. Come on. Give me, give me the ball. Come on. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna toss this ball, and I'm gonna. There he goes. Yeah, crazy dog, dude. Crazy dog. Come on. Come on, Barney. Come on. Come on, Barney. Ah. Oh. So. Ah. <sighs> yeah, he, he bit uh, her finger earlier. He was holding the ball down and on. Hey, it's going to be really crazy. Got to be careful. And scratching all the time. And I looks like this shouldn't be allowed on the website, but you know, owners. So, anyways, things are going relatively decent. we got to be careful. He's almost hiding all the time. So. Not that vlog edited. Um, we watched an interview of the guy online that we've been seeing and everything about how he's doing things and uh, recently blew up getting 30,000, 40,000 in a few days and all that. So, started a few months before us. We are truly, it's been so rough because we've been trying to always move and just do everything without a home properly. It's been a nightmare, truly. Barney, come here. Barney, hey. Barney, come here. Barney. Barney, come here. Come here. Give me the ball. I gotta toss the ball from him quick or he's gonna run off people. Barney, come here! Barney, hey! Barney, come here! Barney, come here! Give me the ball! Barney, come on! Give me the ball! Come on! Here we go! Ready! Okay. <laughs> I tossed the ball, making him think. Where's the ball? Where's. Barney, where's the ball? Where's the ball? He's getting some more. Barney! Where's the ball? Barney! Barney, where's the ball? Okay, now I've made him think. <laughs> Gotta make him kind of think there for a while. Can't show him the ball, he'll know. No, Barney, come here! Barney, Barney, come here! He's not allowed in there, otherwise, he can cause a lot of trouble. So, careful with that. Um, loud as hell, street. Can't leave her window open in her bedroom at all. Or just like hell, constantly trying to do anything with like noise, can't sleep or anything. Woke her up really early yesterday morning, I think, but didn't get enough sleep. And I managed to sleep through it the second day of the noise, but first day woke me up as well. And horrible air quality without the, having the window open, and it's just impossible to breathe so well. But yeah, between that and noise, so we choose to close it sometimes here. Uh, last night we, we closed it because. It's just extremely horrible and all that. So, anyways, it's going pretty well with uh, everything. We're doing all our research, getting stuff properly on uh, TikTok. Here, Barney, come here. Getting stuff with a TikTok account and everything. If we can get a good amount of ads coming here and uh, getting all of it taken care of and build up that account to see proper products. I'm just going to let you know a lot of kids here now. i got to be careful with everything because uh, it's crazy, super crazy here. But, um,. Let's try to distract him. Anyways, it's so difficult to do anything, pissing and all this. It's so horrible. It's, it's insane. Like, like, truly, it is horribly insane with all this, but we're trying our asses off to do it. So, essentially, that's about it for now, I think. Um, we're going to make this work, and we've got product coming tomorrow to start videos, and hopefully I can get something that we're going to make even $1,000, $2,000 would help tremendously. So, I guess we'll um, give you an update on that here in a bit, and I'm gonna toss it now. Barney, come here! Barney, come here! <laughs> Alright, that's it for now. See you a little bit. Okay, we're back from the walk, and uh, today it's just horrible. Like, this dog always keeps jumping on her and leaving marks. I keep taking pictures. and. THS does not do anything, basically, I feel like, enough. We're going to see how this next case is going, but we put proof that she's recording us and that there are left marks on her and everything, and there's taking days to, to do anything here, and there's talking to the owners. Even though they, like, did uh, take down nothing, they, they made it clear temporarily, so they couldn't be, be back, definitely. It's like she was just saying, it doesn't matter what you do, if you, like, leave a present for the guy here or anything, uh, you know, try to be like leaving, uh, using it against you and 
saying, oh, I don't see why they're saying they have a problem. They even left me a gift. Like, they, they can, like, literally use anything against you even if you try to make things better, even after them treating you horribly. She's like, you, you misunderstand how bad the British people are and what they do to you. I like, can just leave you in the street and cock you horribly. Like, I guess what she said she is right. And I need to be careful about what I'm doing in this matter, I suppose. No matter how much I'm trying to like fix things or make them right or just try to avoid problems, you just can't sometimes, very often actually. I just hope things go better, but like she said, this guy can leave three reviews on us and make our profile go down like two or three stars probably because this is three separate stays combined to one and I think we're talking maybe he even did that on purpose just so you can like fix someone because we have ratings as guests and hosts don't have ratings on the website again how's that fair in the slightest the same way as ageism every and everything so much you have to be like 20 to even be in this website there's so many problems with uh just there being favoritism with Hosts over guests, yeah, like she said, remember, this is a British company, they're going to start with the British overview, most likely. Perhaps they will, because I think I, you know, I really saw the issues in countries. This is why people don't leave their countries or travel or do much, because it always feels like people are xenophobic. Like, they treat you bad just because you're from a different country, even though you're all humans. I can't understand why people are so separate. It's so miserable. Is this really how our planet is? It's just different countries. We're all different people that can come together as like one and it's not matter what language you speak I just I can't understand why is the world so divided I just can't describe the feeling I'm, I'm feeling how how is it like this because like governments are always keeping people separate you need visas to go everywhere and yes yeah, so that's definitely not helpful at all dividing people up and make me makes me so sad I don't know there's not much I can do again. I'm just one person and I'm uploading my videos and uh, we're studying YouTube. YouTube is not like TikTok or other areas. They won't even put one view on it. They won't show it to anyone barely and uh, especially if it does not go with their agenda. It goes against them. You're on a red flag list already. Probably I am. So stuff I'm speaking about, no one's even going to see these videos unless maybe I put ads on them if it's even able to have ads put on them. And Yeah, that's a troublesome website. So... At least I have these record for myself, maybe to show if I ever have the ability in the future off of YouTube and I don't know. At least I have this, so that's interesting. Anyways, we got the package today um, for our product and I'm going to show me unboxing it. Um, we're going to go back into the dropshipping he thing uh, subject here again and uh, I'm going to show you us starting and uh, going forward on this and give you updates and see because... This is really something we need to change our lives or we're going to be on the streets. I just don't have money I to pay for a coach. I don't have money to buy for gas, food, water, anything. And, like, we would be panicking, but there's no point in panicking. It's not going to help us have something. Uh, staying calm and thinking logically, even if we have to live in the car for a while. And I really, really don't want to do that because you can't sleep properly because there's, like, our stuff in there. You know, it's just bad because people don't care about you. So... Just gonna see how this goes, but if this doesn't work out soon, we are absolutely, like, done. And we're gonna have some hell yeah, on top of all the hell we've already had, so. Uh, it's life. No one's gonna be there to help you, basically. That's how it works normally. So, I'm gonna show you how this goes, see if I get any success on this, and uh, just give you my experience and updates as we go along. Wow, this dog is getting crazy. He just attacked her a bunch, left marks everywhere. We, we took pictures, and I just don't know what's getting this dog even more like, randomly. He has issues trying to attack other dogs in the street like, earlier as well. It's horrible pulling him. I mean, he's trying to like, attack our dog to kill them, or like, jump into the street after them. Like, this dog has a lot of issues. Should, these should not be on the website in general. And he just opened up a, a taller trash can, and uh, put his paw like on the the button on the bottom to open it and then reach in there try to grab stuff out That's how I got plastic in the yard there. He keeps getting plastic ripping it everywhere creating messes and trash like Dude, this dog is really problematic. This is absurd. Like I feel like he's just acting this way even more after we're trying to like do work constantly and important things to have money not be homeless Is it really like a coincidence or is like this stuff always becoming more problematic every time we try to do something important? It's absurd. He's not listening to becoming worse and worse Ever since we started, like, getting ready to, like, focus on ads, doing products and stuff, like, the time we need time most. Like, it's either a weird-ass coincidence or 
something is somehow trying to like attack us in some way and I don't even know what's going on anymore because like I what is this? Why is this happening? Is is horrible. Barney, come here. He's trying to like get it up in the fry pan and everything, like no, it's not hygienic at all and it's really pissing me off. Like trying to run up in the stairs, break our MacBook, almost doing that, trying to run in our room. Uh just like Horrible, like trying to get him down. I had, I couldn't even eat my cup of peanut butter. I had a little peanut butter for my breakfast, just have something to consume. And without him, like trying to almost like trying to get him down the stairs, just like going all over it. Like, yeah, that's absolutely appetizing. I'm sure anyone who has any hygiene about them at all will probably say, yeah, I don't want someone or something just doing that all over their food or my food. So this is very very problematic dog becoming a very very big issue completely anyways we'll give you further up after we get on studying more courses and going through with the product i've decided to go ahead and put my youtube channel on hold i'll keep uploading videos every day but i'm just gonna put a focus on making money ahead of my own channel and if i don't give you okay whatever i need money to survive so wow this dog is genuinely a freaking giant prick this is absurd i just we go in here, to try to eat, keep him out, because he'll be all over our food. And we hear him go into the trash can again. He goes inside, rips out one of the plastic cups that has some peanut butter in it. That's trash. Goes and takes out to the yard. I try to get him, walk out with my socks all over the area on the concrete there that, or whatever, it's like orange color. It's going to probably get my socks dirty and I have to walk into the grass. He's still running. He's like, looking at me like, and he goes and runs away knowing that he's not do he's doing something he should not be doing. And I have to give him... A couple of treats, finally to get him in, barely have him set, take the plastic, finally toss out to turn the trash can all the way around and put it up against the wall. So now maybe he won't be able to get inside. This is absolutely the most prickish dog I have taken care of almost, besides maybe Otto and Kilo a couple of places back. No wonder this guy was feeling jealous when I was talking about my last place with the Whippet. Acting completely better, emotionally way smarter, and obeying us being very nice compared to this. No wonder who's acting weird and jealous the first night we were talking about that. I remember. We both remember. It's no wonder. This is freaking stupid as hell. I hate Labradors, truly. I remember them. They are violent. Almost bit me as well on the farm. Uh, never take care of them. Now, now that we've fallen, I, we didn't even know. We didn't recognize. They're not specific. They they don't speak proper. No one speaks properly about things. And they just like, oh, I got scratched. Oh, okay, it's okay. Five stars. They, I, I know people. They let it go. They let it go. Anyways. Uh, it's so toxic. And you can't report or say anything to him about what's going on. Or he's going to be like, oh, maybe we should find a new place to stay. No, I'm sorry, THS. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I cannot tell the owner while we're here. We need this time to work and maybe actually have a way to have money to live. Piss off. I'm not doing that. I, I hate this website so much the way they are. It's, uh, it's smarter to, to spend my time here and just no matter what, have money and success. So we're going to address that with the next 10 to 12 days left we have here and try to make something work, I hope. Did I also forget to mention that we have things like this right here by the TV? <laughs> Did I forget to mention? This thing is gigantic! I've never seen one almost, like, I don't even know what's going on. It's like a giant freaking spider just in the house randomly. Is that a spider? Yes, that's a spider. No way. That is a spider. I'm joking. No. So, as she was just saying, we had bought a bunch of courses on sale. Uh, back when they was doing well, and uh, he used a bunch of different emails and different ways to get different courses. What is the name of this site? You, Udemy? Cor no, what? Wait, wait, sorry. Name of this website, Udemy, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm so. Sorry. Saved a lot of money on that. So, um, you can actually be able to, to study these things and stuff. How much was the course yesterday you bought for YouTube? Not marketing, but organic. $15.99 so like more than I want to spend yeah you, you could have saved several dollars um, also transaction fee on top of that so not ideal but um, just uh, be quick and have something proper here at all um, this is our meal we have uh, some corn here delicious corn fried corn I can't exactly go and uh, cook you know as, as i've seen andrew tate say if i'm cutting an onion and cooking 
that's why I'm poor, so <laughs> I gotta not cook or do anything or work out, basically just study constantly and try to make money, so it's correct. If you eat meal that you just don't, like you just don't like cut the onion, but you also grow the onion, you also clean the onion, and you also refrigerate the onion. But in a first world country, you generally <laughs> just cut the onion from the store. You would have so mad, you see. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he probably doesn't like farmers. <laughs> eh, farmers are poor in some way, usually. <laughs> like, they're not homeless, but they're poor compared to people who actually do crap in business, so. And their jobs will be replaced by AI as well, growing through hydroponics, which will make no pesticides necessary, make food abundance higher, and make the prices cheaper, so. Uh, being someone who did all this stuff in my life as well, I think I have a right to say, uh, yes, it's good to replace farmers too in some way, but hopefully things just don't take a turn for worse with um, controlling entities going and taking over everything. Because government's just like controlling all these things, probably leading to a nightmare. But anyways, we'll worry about that stuff in the future. For now, I'm going to eat my fried corn and watch TikTok course ad, uh, ads, of course, yeah. and uh, hopefully make some money. You got anything else to say? Stop. Okay, so we're in the middle of some courses right now. And it looks like we're learning a good amount. They're going to implement some stuff uh, into TikTok, the US or, or like Western version more so, that uh, they already have in Chinese version. So you can kind of see a step ahead from what we're learning. So far, it's one of the things we've seen. And also, uh, it's going to be very beneficial to know about uh, be, how to be ready for that in the future. And like them tracking your face and everything. So, um,. That's going to be the life of bringing China to the rest of the world. Anyways, I don't know if we're going to do the, the video today or anything, but we're studying a lot first because we got to get this right and make sure uh, we don't mess up because we only have a few days here to essentially do this. Anyways, kind of what you said about the pets here as well. Uh, if owners are giving pets to, uh, names to pets that are from uh, shows, TV shows, more like children, things like Barney, for example, uh, they can be very toxic pet owners because they look at their pet as like a small child of theirs like in a more specific way like a controlling way controlling if way. they control their pets like no, no. they say it's just a piece of control they probably gonna treat like treat you just like yeah, that because yeah. that's how they also treat their kids and uh, cubby is more sophisticated and the guy was much better obviously of course so um we're on our way to doing things right here although i want to just kind of show something here so I've been seeing this a lot. I end up getting one of these here, if we can like sh show you properly there. But um, I heard all the things about it, interesting things. So it's like black garlic is fermented for like 90 days. I hope it doesn't kill us. Like it's expiring in January 8th, 2024. Um, I don't know, what does this smell like? like What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. You smell that? Wow. <laughs> wow. I can smell. Those just like, wait, can you smell now? <laughs> whoa. All right, let's try one of these. Oh, I don't want to try. <laughs> oh, no. No, I just didn't spend nine pounds for this. Bro, here. Um... I hope this is okay to eat. Fermented, there's no mold on seam. Is this like, how do you... Oh no, this is gonna suck to open. Yeah, I almost need to do some more. Oh, frick. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh no, that's nasty, dude. That is like... Whoa. It's all mushy and it... Everything wow. a Brazilian need. Wow, you like. Look at this. If I can show you. Wow, it's like a uh, tamarind almost. Please tell me there's no like maggots in here. <laughs> I'm so scared. Let me show you correctly. I can't trust that phone, Justin. <laughs> what country is this from? What country is that from? Is it from China? The product of China. Oh no! 
Bro, I never had maggots from China. That's um, true. Examine that if you want. Um, gonna try this here. Wow, so that type of trap or anything like it's so creamy inside. There you go. Oh no. It's like sweet. It's like tamarind. It actually is. What the hell? It's like a version of tamarind. Wow. Can you cook with this? I have on your salad. Mmm. 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 Wow. Probably this when you're sick to probably help instead of the pure horrible garlic. This is like not garlic anymore at all. That's weird. Now I know why someone someone was asking. I I assume I can plant this and they were like, No you cannot and then I learned what black garlic actually was. That's interesting. Nice, yeah, huh? That's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet, right? It's sweet. <laughs> it's like candy, it's like a fruit. <laughs> what? Um Wow, it's like at least a, a hit of tamarind, except no sourness. Like tamarind has no sour, right? Even the the color and uh, appearance. I should put this on a YouTube short, probably. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try Mr. Beast chocolate sometime here. I'll let you know how that goes as well. I'm gonna try to show this as best as I can. I'm like. Using the front camera, and I can barely see anything here. But um, I'll try to use my hands like reference guide. There's pieces of carpet all over here that he's come, that he's come and just like ripped out. And the door is closed. It's crazy because look what he's done. This is absurd. He's just going here and, and freaking this because he's pissed off because we didn't let him through when he wanted. And then you can see all these marks here as well. He keeps leaving marks, whether it be on people or objects like this. I hope this can like focus properly, but this is absurd. Constant marks all over right here, and just it's it's horrible. This is not the type that you can really deal with. And now we have to try to figure out a way to fix this. So this is crazy funny. We just like are generating, uh, we're, like we're going out some place like Two Buddy and VidIQ and all that, and uh, fifty dollars for VidIQ, thirty for Two Buddy over that. So <clears throat> a little over because we got monthly. Uh, plan instead of your way, but 80 in total and I think it's kind of worth it so far because it's like helping me completely Maybe get like the best recommendation for my videos and we'll talk more about this in the future and how this works But uh, anyways, it looks like maybe the video can already be doing better. Maybe a couple extra views on it We're gonna see here and uh, We're using AI from TubeBuddy and it's just like telling the people in the The is it description? Yeah, it's in the description, and we're just seeing what the AI says, and it was like, oh, I'm going to Spain, and come with me on my journey to the salt mines, or some crap like that. <laughs> it's random, and then this one is like, thank you for subscribing in this video. I'm sharing with you all the crazy things I found and ate in my dish. <laughs> in this video, I continue sharing my adventures from my, from my dish <laughs> abroad. <laughs> This time I'm in Hungary. So first, wait, where was I? Just wait. First I was in Rome, Italy. Then I went to Spain. It's telling me, and now I'm in Hungary. I'm exploring the beautiful city I of think Budapest. I really did that on purpose <laughs> because speak about food and so you start bullying people mm, from Hungary. It is. It knows people have issues with food there, maybe. No, it's just like bullying the ninja. May I don't know. Maybe can, maybe knows more. Whether you're a traveler or whether you're a traveler or a local, I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Smiley face. <laughs> as always, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments section below. Okay, that sounds like me. Actually, wait a minute. What? <laughs> wait, wait, what is this? Bro, look at this. What is this? I'm looking here. Why well, found my dish while I was in Barcelona? If you're planning on traveling to Europe anytime soon, be sure to check out my other videos in this series. I'm sharing with you all the amazing things I found while I was traveling around Europe. From amazing food to stunning scenery. I'll show you all the amazing places I visited. So, I don't know how to say that. It's, it's Japanese, right? <laughs>
I don't know how to say that. Like freaking out, dude. If I knew how to, sp I, I I don't know how to speak any Japanese essentially. And translate, what does that mean? Hototai kaiste in Dakota. That sounds more like Japanese. Sorry, I was like trying to go Chinese mode before, but no, it's Japanese sounding more. Can you not? <laughs> I keep putting this in the video. <laughs> it says, uh, this. Uh, this is like, take a look. So it's like, mita mita kudasai. Oh, mida mida kudasai. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go with your Portuguese, dude. <laughs> Okay, so this has been interesting. Um, mite, mite kudasai. Mite, mite kudasai. Mite, mite kudasai. Why do I feel like in those uh, uh, live streamings and TikTok when I'm like just scrolling down and there's this advice <laughs> like literally like uh, stopping there every time they receive money and uh, like there's a noise and they're trying to like, sleep. <laughs> can you stop playing that i'm gonna memorize japanese all right so stop. so um looks like we're getting great scores here essentially for search volume and competition and just uh, all these other metrics so uh it's looking pretty great i got 100 of 100 score there and uh very hard to get in the green zone for a competition, I think it was it, or I can't recall. I'll see here. I think I might be able to start getting views properly with this. Like, no one tells you these things. Like, even YouTube is very ambiguous with things and, like, I'm very manipulative. Not kind of. It's, like, very manipulative. And I'm watching this course from this guy. And he was showing a really sad thing that happened with uh, one of the people getting really upset with YouTube for changing and ruining everything and, and uh, causing hell with people and monetization and all this. And uh, she went and think, ended up uh, doing an attack on the headquarters and then she, uh, you know, got rid of herself after. And uh, the guy seemed really sad about it because he used to work there. And just seeing, like, someone get so upset over these things, see, like, like, uh, she went from getting over three, uh, like, she, she had almost 400,000 views, I think, and she got 10 cents for it, and I remember PewDiePie as well talking about this, and, and just having issues constantly not making money, and now it's like, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time to even monetize, and maybe I heard YouTube talking about even taking out everything all together, and now they may not even pay people anymore, so really, yeah, uh, I, I feel sad for people like that, because I, you know, kind of do understand them in a way. But at the end of the day, doing things like that is never going to solve anything. Um, it's just kind of like people are a certain way. And unfortunately, you're not going to change people. The only thing you can do is like come up with something better and beat the competition. That's about all you can do because population won't change in general the way they think. So it's unfortunate. But yeah, I thought I would share that story with you. Um, we're going to learn, learn more about this. For now, we're going to finish these videos and optimize them. You know, at the next one we're posting tomorrow. Try and do one a day here. Uh, from my almost 60, I have already set up and ready here. I gotta still add it, like, uh, almost 40 of them. So, I'll probably finish the course on YouTube tomorrow. And then I have to go uh, take care of the drop shipping and all of that stuff with the course. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to transition this into that. Start putting in my titles and stuff, talking about this more. But, uh, absolutely, I will be, like, focusing completely on drop shipping and what I'm doing and testing all this because I think it's extremely important and working on products and all this, and I'm vlogging. Why would I not talk about this and bring you along with me and what's going on? So, yeah, it's going to be super fun to show you just, like, testing and see what I can do on TikTok Organic, uh, at least right now, and, uh, you know, go from there. So, um, it's been interesting. So, I'm going to start just kind of, like, where everything took off. This morning, we woke up several times, like, 7 a.m., going at 8 a.m., by an alarm going off several times. And we just started only to wake us up, and then it stopped, and then... To wake us up again a couple hours later, it woke us up, but I, 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 it sounded again, and it woke us up, and it stopped, it hasn't gone on all day since then, any the time we've been here, it's just been fine, and she really was telling me, it's, it, dude, it's probably him, because this guy has wireless access to his hot water from across the world, got wireless access to his door, and various other things as well we don't even know about. And he's got neighbors to see and check on everything as well. This guy could easily have wireless access to everything else. And he's probably like, oh, I'm, I'm returning soon. I want you to be up earlier, essentially, to have uh, Barney, his pet, on, on uh, his exact time he wants. And I, 
I'm just thinking probably she's right because of like what's going on. She's like, he's probably laughing when he was doing that as well. And uh, not enough sleep could have gotten in a car accident going up today having to get uh, food, water, return some packages. And there's a horrible experience with that. Just such a loud beeps. I think this guy is absolutely the biggest ass on recording us everywhere more than we're aware. You can just kind of have, have a feeling as well like someone's almost watching you. I'm sure you kind of understand what I mean. And you just feel like the atmosphere is weird. And it's hard to explain really. But anyways, that's how we're, our morning started. And then we went out to go return the package. Two different packages. And Amazon couldn't do it the same area. So we had to go to an every drop off in the post office area. So we went to first every drop off. And apparently the guy was like, Oh, uh, well, first of all, she said, well, let me guess, we're going to go to an area that's going to be poor, third world area, third world person's going to be in there. We went to the area, drove there, parked the car, and she said, I don't like this neighborhood sketch. It's like weird. Yeah, it was. And we went over to the every drop off, and the guy was from a third world country, was not white, and it looks like he maybe could have been from some place towards India, maybe? I don't even know. I'm not sure what country at all, but just like definitely not from around here. She was right. We got a third world person that just didn't care, was like, like not carrying the size, like, oh, and come back tomorrow. I'm like, I don't have tomorrow. So we got in a car and just like, okay. So we went to search up another location, went there, and Amazon's not being proper about locations at all, never showed anything proper on Google. So we went uh, to the next place, and then guess what? It's telling me, oh, uh, it it doesn't support not having like a label or something on it. Like uh, you have to have your own bag or box or something. I remember, and so I was just like talking to her. I was like, "This is insane that the UK is like a third world country and so horrible, We're wasting our time. This is how you don't make money, essentially." And uh, just saying, this is shocked. Both of us shocked at how bad the UK is. And obviously, some people around here and just like, uh, just get out of here then," and not caring at all. Obviously, like. Like, that's why people don't change their lives. You see something wrong and you don't want to change it. That's why you're still working your job that you hate and barely getting paid for. That's why you're miserable in your life, right? Because you're not working for something better. We finally, she wanted to give up. I said, no, we're going to go to this last place. And if this doesn't do it, I don't think we can do this entire area. It's like the last one. So we went there and it was a better area. Had more American stores, subway, different areas looked cleaner, a bit better everywhere. And uh, definitely looked more American. And we went there, all of a sudden, just random, oh, everything went fine, scanned it, the person helped me, got it, taken and everything. And when I say more American, I mean, looks cleaner, more organized, looks more unique and separate from everything around, looks more open, wide space land, because you know, you talk to anyone in America, like, you'll see, it's, like, famous that we have to drive everywhere because everything's so flat and spaced out, so it looked more like that. And just clean and organized. So that's what I mean by that, if you're ever wondering. Because I just don't see that a lot in the UK. I'm sorry. I've been here for months now. I'm not seeing that. We went into the next area, back all the way. Because we went down to a map. So first every was right by our original post office. So we had to go all the way up to the next area. And then the next area outside the city. Miles and miles driving each time. And finally we went all the way back. And now we're going to the post office. Uh, on the map here. And this is in the city called Winsford, if you're wondering, here in the UK. Uh, it's by Crewe. Uh, that city, C R E W E, I think, uh, 30 minute drive away down the south, the east, a little bit of us, I think. Anyways, so we went there and we saw, oh, after we got out of the car, no parking here, so it was like frick. So I went back in the car, moved it over to another spot, someone just pulled out from here, it went right over here by myself, and just drove over there. And it said, oh, 15 minute parking. And I looked at her and I was like, oh, 15 minute parking after we got out again. And she's like, what? And I was like, yeah. It might not be enough time. Maybe we want to park somewhere else. And uh, she was like, no, probably be fine. Or something. I don't remember. <laughs> so we went in and the uh, post office was right there. Like inside the that part of the mall already. Like open area. So we walked in there. Got it done. And she was feeling weird and said, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be here. I, I'm feeling weird. Like the way people are like, thinking and looking at, at me. And just like you feel the way people are like focusing on you. And... So I went to go do that, and yeah, like the woman I talked to, older woman, uh, when I got done, because uh, she's like, the first person ever called me love was just like, oh, yeah, what can I help you with love, or something like that, and I know it's a UK term, but it's really, I think, specific people who use that, uh, it's really more problematic, potentially, I feel weird with that, and she compared the woman 
the way she's feeling when the woman's like looking at her doing anything, just the way the teacher that was she like fucked us up in the southern Brazil was looking at exact re resemblance. So that was her saying that, and I just I I guess I would probably agree. I was not really comfortable in that either. The said uh, we get an email regarding that, so I got both of them. Turned got sixty pounds back for a carbon monoxide alarm that didn't work at all, and just a horrible camera that didn't work at all for like inside the house. Didn't go vertical automatically, only horizontal. So I got a proper camera there, really good upgraded one. So in shock, the one of the last hosts like went, went through our trash and you're just like writing a review about it. <laughs> um, these people are so bad here. I'm in shock still today. So, uh, we got that done. Then we went to Asda. It's been like seventy pounds, I think, or so, and got uh, some yogurts, milk, some granola, uh, a few chips there. Yeah, and some water and rice, things like that. I was remembering I was asking him at the checkout there. Uh, oh, did, did I get discounts there on some stuff? And he's like, oh, which things? I was like, oh, on the chips. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. That's for French fries here. <laughs> it's like, he understood, right? <laughs> does, he, does he know I'm American by my accent? Um, so I was like, I don't know. Anyways, he like, stop. So, yeah, yeah, everything went fine with that. And we came home. And Barney has been hell. Barney, like, trying to get out earlier. Just how do I get out do anything? And, uh. He's always trying to follow us to the gate. It's horrible. So, anyways, we bought a couple things here. This is one of the things we bought. A little bit of donuts. Looks like it wasn't the worst. Looks amazing. Jam filled donuts. We got a ring light thing here as well for the camera, phone camera. So, it'd be good. And I can put this around my neck. So, maybe I can use this and turn around to record and film videos much better for TikTok. I think it would be great. And I didn't show that the best lighting, I think. But there you go. So, I think this is going to go great. We're going to go finish the YouTube course, and I guess from there, we're going to go do my video again, and uh, then after that, we're, we're fully sorted. We're going to completely uh, just take care of the course. Um, I'm sorry, we're, we're going to completely just go straight on the ads completely here, and uh, try to get this going, and see about what we can do about not being homeless, maybe couch surfing different ways here. Like, uh, the next person we're talking to is already being a rude as hell. I don't remember her name even. You just see, forget, but it's for August 20th and down in the south. And oh boy, she's a writer and uh, already just like saying, oh, I don't, I don't want, you know, I'm, I'm inviting strangers into my home and, and you know, I, I need to know more about you. And I'm just like, I've already had a background check and been inspected thoroughly by this website completely. And I have various reviews on my profile that are all five stars except for one that's just a complete pure asshole and freaked us up and lying recording us and all that and i'm like you're acting this way so i'm like oh fun i looked at her and i was just like let's just just get through it we need a place to stay just get through it so if we make any money we're gonna set things right i pray and i hope this goes well and we we work on this properly truly so that's about it now for an update and uh I end the vlog soon here, so <sighs> yeah. Um, maybe gonna have to try to unscrew something. How to even? I don't even know how oh, this guy. I, our devices have been horribly weird here. I haven't been able to add Wi-Fi from the Xiaomi phone to my Samsung phone anymore. It's rejecting every password, and various devices are acting weird, having issues, and I can't like literally do anything anymore. It feels like in so many ways, like genuinely, it feels like someone's like hacking half the time or, or trying to mess with doing things on our devices. And this guy seems to definitely know a lot about this stuff. So I'm having concerns that maybe he's even trying to do something like that. And if that's true, that's very concerning. Wouldn't be surprised if he's secret recording us in various areas. Need to go around checking things. Maybe, like, our camera wouldn't even work earlier today while we were out. And maybe he even came back here or not. But like, he had someone to come in and get cameras that we were talking about before. They, uh, like, there to go earlier, uh, like, last night maybe. And uh, he went to go have someone get them because of that. It's like, after what I've seen people do and what they're capable of, I don't trust anyone almost. It's so horrible, especially in certain countries. But in general, it's so common to be recorded and have secret cameras, especially someone who works in these fields more and has more awareness and you see them have these things in other areas all over the house. You're going to know that you probably have a high chance of having issues with that. So 
definitely statistically something to watch out for. And I just, I want this nightmare to be over finally. I want to have money and just be able to look back on this as a horrible nightmare and start trying to heal and recover from all of it. So, so I just checked back all the videos, like 65 minutes worth. I'm gonna have a long vlog for that. It's wonderful. Um, but probably just gonna post it as one. So, yeah, I'm gonna end this video off here, I think. And just thank you so much for watching, staying with us. And as we're going through this and we start drop shipping, I want to completely show everything that we're doing as much as possible with this. I want to show you how hard drop shipping has been for us and how drop shipping, especially in 2023, you know, drop shipping back a few years ago was much different, easier, but drop shipping in 2023 is very difficult, <laughs> I just say. So I am going to definitely be transitioning more into focusing in this for now and the, trying to make money and all that, which hopefully it's, it's done very soon. Again, I have a good feeling about all this. I have, we have studied so much and I think we're on a great path with this. So as all for now, thank you all so much for watching. Please let us know anything uh, you want to speak about in the comments. If you have any questions about anything, uh, feel free. And I'll see if I can help you. And uh, hopefully there's not too many comments or I don't know how many people are going to watch the video. So far no one's watching. But I'm going to keep posting every day anyways just to kind of see how things go. Uh, anyways, that's it. Thank you again. And I will see you in the next one coming up where if we begin to this a little more direct and I'll start showing you my TikTok and what I'm doing and all that. So I'll see you then.